Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain you guys what the tool crunch is used for and uh, what we can do with it. So uh, the crunch is a custom passport word list generating tool which can be used on different systems and uh, it's mostly used for cracking passwords and it can also generate uh, alphabetical, numerical or symbolic mixed word list. Um, we can use it for creating word list and crack like hashes for encrypted files. And we can also pipe crunch with different tool sets for cracking hashes for encrypted data. So for example, one tool is aircrack, which is used to crack wireless routers. And another tool is called uh, Hashcat, where we can uh, crack different kind of hash data. So hash, hash data are like um, values that are um, like converted from a string, like from a text, for example, if you will say one, two, three, four, five, it will look, for example, differently as a, a hash. And there's many different kind of hash values um, or let's say uh, techniques to convert to. Uh, one of them will be, for example, MD5, or another will be SHA1. I list them here, how they will look like. Hope you guys understood some of the fundamentals how we are going forth um if you guys want to download the crunch tool you guys can download it from these links this is for the windows operating system this is for the mac os x system for the mac you guys will need to know how you guys will uh, install the brew uh, package manager like, like this package manager installer to manage different kind of tools and on a Kali Linux system, it's actually pre-installed. So actually, if you guys will use Kali Linux and have it fully updated, you guys will not need to install all of this um, like on the different systems. So we are going to use the tool on the Kali Linux system as it is pre-installed and more easily to use. So first of all, to use it, you guys will need to open the window terminal, make it at a bigger size, write sudo so to get full privilege, like uh, get root access and write the password inside via the terminal. So to use this tool, I will show you guys an example. So if I write crunch, the numbers here will be the minimum number that will be the maximum digit number that it will um, go to. So, for example, if I will write 1 and 5 and let it just run, it will generate the numbers from 1 to 5. You guys can see those are alphabetic words as we didn't actually make it as a basically a uh, numeric form so how can we for example make it in a numeric form you can write crunch one five and then you can write for example now um zero one two three four five we let it generate and as you guys can see it will stop at, at five 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 and it also has Five digits and as you guys can see here we specified this shall have uh, the maximum digit shall be five and it should start from the digit one and also what we have specified behind here is that we want to count it up from zero to five so as you guys can see here those are the digits one and those are the second digits third digits 
and then we also will see the four digits and lastly the fifth digits until the number five 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 so that's how basically you can generate the word list and for example if you wanna generate specifically like this only like starting starting at a five digit five digit without any um smaller digits you can write five five and then the same again zero one two three four five to count it up and zero to the five and you guys will see the end is still the same like this but if you guys look at the start it will show five digits as you guys can see here and if you guys for example wanna output this as a word list you guys can write at the end o for output and then you guys will need to uh, choose the directory that you guys want output it as i'm already in this directory um i will for example just write this name for it and write password list five digit uh, text this will generate all these numbers inside this text file so if we now write ls and we can see we have the password list five digit that txt here and we can for example open if it with nano a text editor and we will see all the numbers which are basically inside until the last five 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 so basically that's how we can create a basic um, password list so in the next clip i will show you guys how we can make it more advanced so if you want to generate a word list which has alphabetical or numerical mixed words inside we can write for example crunch by five and then you by t t is a command used in crunch to append different kind of symbols lowercase or uppercase letters so we're gonna write a username called john um, and then we will append this letter here so this letter is used to actually put the numbers behind this word so if we hit enter you guys can see for example we will have all this zero one two three four five six seven eight nine for the john letter behind but if we for example want to make it a bigger um word list or uh, bigger numbers behind you need to change these digits to for example the number 13 and we need to also append it so the whole uh, digits even with the john is the same as 13 so if we count up for example one two three four which is already john then we go five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and now if we generate the uh, mix of a biblical numerical uh, word list uh, it will output as this and as you guys can see it will output a lot of numbers behind which can be used for password cracking or overall um used so that's i will clear the screen now so that's how we can basically use um the mixed alphabetical and numerical uh way to actually uh, create our word list So there are actually many more options that we can specify for the username or the uh, word to append to for example we can make symbols that we will write one two three one three four five six seven eight nine this is used for uh, imparting symbols and as you guys will see it will uh, input symbols behind the john username 
Now, if you clear it, there is also option for making uppercase letters. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you guys will also see this will make uppercase letters, it will append uppercase alphabetic letters. And there's also another one. Uh, you just make the add letter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are like lowercase letters. Those are like the lowercase alphabetic letters that we can append to the John username. Let's clear this one. So those are the underlying options that we can do. Um, but what we can also do is actually, which is very interesting and very useful. If we want to, for example, append the numbers or symbols or lowercase letters or uppercase letters in a different position, we can put it, for example, at the start of the username like this. And then we can put it, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you guys will see the numbers will actually be behind appended. So they will be appending uh, behind the John at the at the start here so you guys can put it anywhere inside here inside there or, or inside here so it doesn't matter you guys can always change it however you guys want it and however you guys want to customly modify it so it becomes a word list basically I'll show you guys actually on more options that is what you guys can do you guys can write for example crunch and find right man this is the manual page as you guys can see that's the usage oh i already showed before and there are many different options on and commands you guys can use and behind here are the descriptions those are the command line um, you guys need to append to the crunch tool so it can work. And if you guys read through it, there's also examples as what we can do and what we can change as how it should um, output the word list or how we can do, or like how we will save it in the word list. So just by the command man and crunch on Linux, you guys can see the help option because when I do crunch, you cannot see the help option basically. So if you guys want to get more into it and learn more the commands, you guys can actually uh, write this specific command. First of all, we actually will need to write air crack and G and then the handshake bar where you guys captured the handshake. I showed it actually in uh, my VPA, VPA2 um, capturing like cracking video you know, on my channel, how to capture this one. And if we hit enter, you will see the, this ID basically here. That's the address of the router name here so we need to specify also crunch 1313 what the digit number which uh, like what it should generate also we will do it the numbers from 0 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then we'll pipe this one air crack and we will uh, also write the handshake file, this is ID, which is the MAC address. We will paste it here. Then we will also actually um, write V in a line. The reason is because um, normally the V command is used to look at a word list. If we would just append a line to say there is no word list for it. And we will just 
actually use it from the crunch tool because it's piping from it then we just hit enter if you guys scroll up here we'll see it's starting actually the cracking process here even though we don't have a word list for it specifically that's how we can pipe the crunch tool with the air crack and g tool Hello everyone, so in this clip we will show you guys how we will pipe the tool crunch with the tool hash cat. So first of all, if I write the cat and look at my hash text file, you can see this is the hash value. The string of it or the password is actually 12345 and that's actually the md5 value of it. So now how do we crack it? Um, we will use or how do we pipe with crunch? We will write crunch and the options that we need, and we will pipe it. So first of all, this is the digit we shall start from, and the digit we shall stop. And those is and those are like the numbers uh, where it should start from and end it. And then we will write the tool hash cat to correct the password and write the attack mode zero hash specification which is zero and then we will write um, the md5 text file where the hash is basically stored inside we write show so at the end if the cracking successfully we will see the password um, from the value of the hash And as you guys can see here, that's the md5 hash value and this is the password string and we have cracked it with the um, tool hash cat but we piped the password generator with the tool crunch to actually take the word list or like the words from so that's how basically it works 